What's up, everybody? Tonight, we got some CFL action and some NCAA football action that I will be putting some money on. Hope everybody's had a great Labor Day weekend. In the CFL, we got the Edmonton Elks facing off against the Calgary Stampeders. Both of these two teams have had underwhelming seasons. 3-7, and 4-6 and six are their records. The Elks are 7-3 and three against spread this year so far. Calgary, they're 6-4 and four against the spread. Edmonton's 5-1 against spread their last six road games. Uh, Stamps are 4-1 and one their la against spread their last five home games. I like Edmonton in this game. Regardless, Bethel Thompson starting at QB for Edmonton. I think Trey Ford will end up in this game and will lead the Edmonton Elks to a second half victory. I think they could be behind at halftime. You'll get a QB switch because Trey Ford, I don't understand why this guy is not playing more. He is the most exciting QB to me in the CFL and it just, uh, I, I just want him to play. I'm on the Elks plus two and a half. I'm not sure I like them enough on the road, on the money line as both these two teams, you don't know what to expect for them. Unless Trey Ford is playing for Edmonton, then Edmonton I really would like to win the game. But because I'm, he's not not starting. I'm going to take the points. Plus two and a half Edmonton in the CFL matchup. Over to the NCAA. We got Florida State, Boston College. Boston College plus 17. You can find that minus 110 on power play or you can find it at plus 16 and a half for minus 110 on most of the major sports books like Bet365, ESPN, etc. Uh, I, I am on Boston College at the plus 17. Florida State, they barely beat them last season, 31-29. The mobile quarterback for Georgia Tech in Week 0 last week in Ireland that ended up beating Florida State in Game 1 of the season for them. I'm gapping on his name. I apologize. But we got Thomas Castellinos for Boston College, who ran for 95 yards last year in that game against Florida State. I like his over 54.5 rushing yard prop in this game, as well as Boston College on the point spread. I think he can do this again to Florida State. They lost 40% of their defense, 43% of their offense to the NFL or elsewhere that are no longer on the team this year. And that defense was so dominant last year. But the mobile quarterback uh, with Castellanos, uh, I think he's going to get it done today. Uh, Boston College, I'm not brave enough to put them on the money line. I might put a little quarter or half unit on it because I do like them to actually get the upset and at Florida State start out at 2-0, and which pains me because I like Florida State as a fan 10 times better than Boston College. Boston's just a city I don't like, if I'm being honest, Boston and Dallas. And it's nothing to do with the actual cities. It's just the sports teams that are in them cities. So Boston people, I'm not hating on you. Dallas people, I'm not hating on you. It's just your sports teams that I hate is more what I'm trying to say. Those are my three plays for tonight. Good luck to everybody. And one more one more thing I am looking at in the Edmonton game. I might play one of their running backs over the rushing yard totals as I think this is going to be more of a ground and pound game as Calgary is one of the worst run defenses in the CFL. So I'm going to take a peek at that. But those are my three plays. We got Edmonton Elks plus two and a half, Boston College plus 17, and Thomas Castellanos uh, over 54.5 rushing yards. Good luck with all your plays tonight. Peace.